Hello, my friends on YouTube and trolls. <laughs> uh, today, I just wanted to show y'all how to make a hemp wick dispenser. And if you're not familiar with hemp wick, how to use hemp wick, I guess, as well. I'm going to show you that part right now. So, here we go. Take your pipe. kind of seen how it's used but why would you use it why bother right because this has got butane coming out of it every time so if you smoke joints or blunts cigarettes you know this is convenient it's fast it makes sense but if you're smoking a pipe every day all day every hit you're inhaling butane using that but with this you're not it's a little bit inconvenient but uh that's good weed huh it's still burning Your first hit you know it's a uh, been flushed properly. <laughs> it's kind of smoking too much. Oh, I know. I it's super windy over here, y'all. Even though you can't probably tell. Well, kind of windy. Windy for inside a house. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is how to do this. This right here. This is actually just a pill bottle. So it's one of the pill bottles like you get at the any kind of convenience store, or like not maybe not a convenience store necessarily, but um, drugstore or probably Walmart. And it has like the little key ring on here. I'm sure people have, almost everybody's seen these. Uh, less than five bucks, all you do, take your drill, drill out through the center, right through the middle, right through the middle of this thing. Pick a side, probably easier to do it from this side, then you won't miss. Um, and then you take the big bit here, and what you do is you use the big bit as just a, it's like a, to deburr this, to make this inside rounded out. You may be able to see it's a little bit silvered right around the inside. You just run it with your drill, a few turns, to make sure that it's gonna be able to feed in there properly and not get caught up, hung up, not on rough edges from the, you know, whatever the, the other bit that you drilled through. So anyhow, um, so then there's that. Simple enough, easy, great idea, perfect dispenser for this kind of stuff. I did not create that, I just have, I did kind of create this though, um, and how to, how to make this and how to get this in there. Because I was like, ah, I keep putting it in there, but it's, it didn't hold that much. This way, this thing's probably 40 or 50 feet. It could be like months for your average person smoking. And now I'm talking about a smoker or two, you know, at least well over a month for most people if you make it like I do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that or at least uh, give you an idea. Okay, so what I do is I grab a, I like a screwdriver, and I like, the, I like a medium, small size screwdriver, not the tiny ones, because you don't want this to be too small of a hole here, you want to be able to have it dispense out. Okay. So what I do is I wrap this just a little bit in here. I'm gonna want something to be able to pull out later. And so I start it out, and I gotta get it over the top, over the top of that, you can probably see that, oops slipped it there but you can see it now okay so all I do from there is I just start wrapping and I'm just gonna wrap until I get to a point I'll wrap it this first time and I'll try not to make it too boring here showing you my whole wrapping process because it takes it it takes a few minutes I mean especially your first time you do this it's gonna take you uh, you know I'm guessing 15 minutes or something me honestly I can do this in my sleep like five minutes but uh, I'm pretty good with screwdrivers, and I'll, I work with them on a regular basis. And so, and this is why a screwdriver is so handy. It's got this little, and you can just, and also this is metal, and it tends to want to slide off there a little easier. But keep in mind, this is this hemp is it's hemp covered with wax, so it's a it's a little sticky. So if you make the first run on there real tight, it's gonna um, be a little harder to slide off. But so I don't want to go too big with it. We want to make sure it's gonna fit inside of here. Oh, mine went a little too high. Got to talking. So I'm going to reel it a little bit, and so here we are. That's going to be about right when I'm done. So this, it's going to be whatever you start out with for the first point is going to be your longest point in it if you roll it like I do. You can see it almost looks like a machine did that, and I just did it by hand while I was watching TV, hanging out. Eventually, we're going to have this so it dispenses right out of the middle until there's nothing left, and hope it should never get caught. It should never do any weird crap, you know, if you set it up right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. 
So all I do is once I get to a point that I know is still going to fit in here, keeping in mind that the lid is going to be recessed inside of here somewhat, so you can't go to the, all the way to the top. You have to make it a little bit shorter. And I'll show you that one time with this plug in here right now. See how it's shorter. In the center, it can be a little bit bigger, but on the outsides where the threads go down in, it has to be a little bit further. Okay. All right. So what I do is I take it here. And so I've gotten to the top. I've gotten to the first point I want to be in. All I do is just start wrapping back. You just wrap back and forth, back and forth until you fill this thing up with this. And that's it, um, pretty much. But I'm going to do a little bit just to show you the final part. I'm not going to go too far into it. I'm just going to go to this next point here. Uh, these guys on YouTube sometimes they do these videos, and it's like, I'm like, man, I wish you had edited that. And I may, you may wish I had edited this when it's all done. And I hope not. I'm sure I'll hear it in the comments. And feel free to let me know if you have even a better idea. And if you don't like it, I don't really give a shit. You don't have to tell me anything about it. Just keep your mouth shut, really. Actually. <laughs> Keep it to yourself, right? My mom used to always tell me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I don't know if that's always true, but uh, in this case, it probably is. So, down to the end here, okay. And then once again, I'm just, I would just come back. So I'm not gonna do much more, but I just wanna show you, you know, essentially, and there you go. And I did, And this is nice and round wick right here. I have some other wick here. This is really industrial. This is Hemble, Humpwick, Hempwick, Humble, Hempwick. I said that right. <laughs> we'll get it right eventually. But uh, that stuff right there is uh, supposed to be a little bit higher quality. It's more like handmade. But I'll tell you what, I actually like this stuff better, surprisingly. Um, and it's way, way cheaper. And it's nice and round and it rolls up great. You can find it on eBay. This big ass roll it was like 700 feet. I think it was 20 bucks. So man, you can't beat that price. That's like a, that's years supply for one person. Okay, so what I wanna do is, you can see what's up. About done with this video here, but I wanna show you, you gotta slide it off. Once you get it to that size, making sure that it's gonna fit inside of there. Don't, don't get, make it too big, because you're gonna be disappointed if you make it too big. And sometimes, this is a little tricky, but it's not gonna matter. All it's gonna do is force it together. It's easier to pull off when it's bigger too. I'll tell you the, tell you the truth, it's a little harder when it's this small, because you can't really get a grip on it, okay. Not that I've ever done that before. I just pulled it all apart, boy. Well, I don't make it that size, and I guess this is a good reason why. Let's see if I can pull this out of here and show you. And so what you'll do is, at the end, you'll pull this up and out, like so, out of the middle. And from then on, it'll just dispense out of there. You just pull it, and you just pull it up out of here, and you can dispense whatever it is that you decide that you need for your medical or if you're in Colorado and Washington, just plain enjoyment and pleasure. <laughs> um, and anyhow, so that's what it is. And I can just keep pulling that until that thing is basically nothing left. And smoke. Smoke cleanly and have it taste better. No butane, no bull crap, it's just hemp. On, amp. <laughs> on cannabis. So um, that's it. Thanks a lot for your time. Hope somebody enjoyed that and it's useful for somebody. Peace.